Howdy all, welcome to Lax Lives. I think it's time we play a little... Seven Days to Die. Man, I just noticed there are some bad spots in my floor here. I feel like maybe... What is that? Who are you, little guy? I don't know what you were, but you're dead now. It's like a piece of rubble. Oh man, look at they messed up the floor down here too. Dang zombies. That's why we just can't have nice things. Alright, let's see. I think today we are going to uh Head out. Um, we could go north this time. Look at that. North is a direction I have not. There isn't a road here. I have not. Still not heading north, buddy. I've not explored too far into. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see what we can ugh, see what we can find out that way. Uh, I ooh. Where did he vanish to? Man, that deer just straight up vanished. I was going to eat him. So one of the things I want to do this time is I want to make sure if I see animals, I stop and kill them for their meats. I don't so much need their hide, just their meats. That was a very blue zombie. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, can you know what? Maybe my guy will stop complaining about being too hot while we're out here. And the way he can start complaining about being too cold. <laughs> uh, yeah, I um, spent my weekend watching all ten episodes of Band of Brothers. I uh I saw a uh a thing during the week. Uh did I see a deer? Nope. It was trash. Uh I saw a n tweet a thing. I saw a tweet during the week that um said Band of Brothers came out in 2001 or something. I was like, "Oh man, I haven't seen that in forever." Uh, if you're looking for a good war epic, uh, I recommend Band of Brothers. Um, and then I found out there's, like, sort of a sequel to it. I mean, if you can have a sequel to a based-on-reality docudrama, uh, there's a sequel called The Pacific I've got to track down because I don't think I've watched that. I thought that was, um an actual documentary about World War II, the Pacific. But no, it's another docudrama. Uh, maybe it's a docudrama. I don't know if it's a docudrama. Don't quote me on that. I know the first one is based on a book written by... Uh, the first one. Band of Brothers. They're, they're, not, they're not sequels. Band of Brothers is a, a TV show done by HBO set in World War II based on the memoirs of uh, a soldier from World War II. And it follows uh, it follows one company of paratroopers basically from the start of World War... Well, I guess not the start of World War II, but the start of 
America's involvement in World War II. Well, not even that. You see that thing across the river there? What is that? Must be a tent. I was going to go check it out, but there's a river. Oh. I... I... I was trying to run him over. I know, I know. I said I was going to stop and kill all the animals for their meat, and then I didn't. I should have, but by the time I decided I was going to, it was too late, and he was already scampering off into the underbrush, and I didn't want to chase him anymore. Uh, so, uh, it's good. It's, uh, uh, it's got, uh, interview clips from the actual soldiers that the show is about. Uh, I mean, they're, you know, obviously retired at this point. Um, and, uh, uh, I, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, and then I found out there's this other one, the Pacific. Uh, I'm like, man, I did not watch that one. I, I think I'd heard about it, and I think I read that it was a documentary, and I was like, well, I don't want to watch a documentary. I, I was hoping to be like Band of Brothers, and then I read a different thing, and they're like, oh yeah, it's like Band of Brothers. I'm like, oh man, I didn't watch it. It's, it's like... 10 years old now. Uh, or 7, whatever. Uh, you know. Get off me. Give me your piggy deliciousness. Oh. It's my piggy deliciousness. You can't have it. I th we just actually got a uh, pig butchered. <laughs> uh, so I had some fresh piggy deliciousness. For dinner last week. Uh, was that Saturday? Yeah, Saturday. Huge, like, almost plate-sized pork chops. Fresh from the farm. Not my farm, because I don't live on a farm, but from somebody's farm. Uh, we're, uh, friends with people that raise meat animals, I guess, and uh, will occasionally purchase meat from them. It's not chickens, though. I don't know what the deal is with chickens. We don't really know anybody that raises chickens, I guess. Beef and pig, though. Pork. Uh, yeah, I'm still heading kind of north here. That was a weird tangent. That pig got me off on a tangent thinking about pork chops now. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we, uh, <laughs> so my sister, my sister who, uh, just constantly works, um, She uh, she always says she wants to watch stuff with me, but she never does, and so I just go ahead and watch stuff. Or we'll start to watch stuff, and then I like to binge watch things, so if I have a season of something, I don't want to watch half an episode once a week, you know? Uh, if I have it, and uh, I can play it on my PC, um, then chances are... I'm going to binge it while I work because I work on a PC and I have, you know, multiple screens and I can easily knock out a corner of a screen to binge something while I'm working. And uh, so I'm not going to sit around and wait for you to watch a show. Now, if you want to come and watch half an episode, and I literally mean half an episode, like 30 minutes of an hour long episode once a week. That's fine. We can watch that half an hour at a time as you want. But I'm going to go ahead and watch the whole season so I know what happened. Uh, I have no problem re-watching something. Unless I hated it. 
it's pretty rare for me to hate something uh, to the point where I won't rewatch it if somebody wants to watch it. <clears throat> I might draw the line at um, uh, anything with Leslie Nielsen. I I don't like that guy. Not my kind of funny. And um, uh, I've seen Titanic too many times with people now to ever want to see it again. That movie, when it came out, I tell ya, uh, everybody wanted to go see it, but nobody wanted to go at the same time. And so, uh, people I know don't like to plan at all. Zero. So the extent of their plan is to call me up in the afternoon and say, Hey, I want to go see a movie. You want to go see a movie? Okay. And we usually pick it out once we get there. And three, three times, I think three times. Uh, I can think of at least three times the movie the person I was with picked out was Titanic. Let me tell you what. There is only one part in Titanic that I enjoyed. One part in the entire movie. Uh, and that's when the ship splits in half and that dude falls and plangs off the propeller. That was it. That was the only part I really enjoyed. Uh, the rest of that movie, I could do without. Uh, <laughs> and there's nothing wrong if it's your favorite movie. Let it be your favorite movie. It's just not mine. Uh, oh man, what was wrong there? Good thing I put down that thing because the game just cheated. I swung my club three times with that dog. It didn't hit once. Uh, I knew going in there was a bad idea, too, because I had the worst problems getting in one of these places last time. They're terrible. You're dead, right? See your old head. And now there's just nobody here. It's, it's all gone now. Nope, it'll come back now that I'm trying to get my... Yep. This is what happened last time. They are very, very... Watch out, that's a minefield. Very protective of their shotgun store. I mean, that makes sense. Nobody... You don't want just random people coming in and messing up your shotgun store. Uh, yeah, I could, uh, I could probably talk to every person I know, and no one would even, no one would ever pick the movie that I consider my favorite movie, and it's still not Titanic. I'm not saying there aren't people out there that wouldn't pick the movie I pick as my favorite movie, um, as their favorite movie as well. I'm just saying that no one I personally know would pick it as a favorite. My favorite movie is Bram Stoker's Dracula. I know it's a little corny, uh, but I love that story, and I really enjoy the... Alright, I gotta kill this guy. He's so noisy. I really enjoy Francis Ford Coppola's Bram Stoker's Dracula. I, uh... I don't know, I just... I think it's just... It's filmed so well. And, uh, it's got great scenes. I... I love the beginning of it. Uh, when, uh... When, uh... I guess if you've never seen it, spoilers, or if you don't know anything about... Dracula, but uh, I love the beginning of it when they uh, they kill off uh, Vlad's wife, or well, I guess they don't kill her off, but she dies, and um, and then uh, they've got a scene where he's on the floor holding his wife's dead body, crying, and. Um, 
uh, and then at the end of the movie, they have uh, Winona Ryder playing uh, Mina and Elisabetta. Uh, oh, and uh, so um, uh, it ends with her holding him. Uh, looking up to a ceiling painting, whatever those are called. I'm sure that has a name. It's a mural on the ceiling. I'm sure there's a specific name for that, but I don't think I know what it is. Huh. Uh, anyways, uh, and so then uh, she's in the basically the exact same position uh, as he... Uh, gets forgiven and returns back into a human. I love it. I love it. Uh, Titanic, though? Mm, no. That's not me. Not my kind of jam. Uh, they're both romances. <laughs> sort of. The difference is, Mina didn't let go. Uh, no. The difference is you don't have to sit through three hours of sitting on a boat. It's like... It's not as bad as that, uh... Uh, what was it, like, Casey Affleck and Brad Pitt, I think, did that, uh, oh, dang it, get off me, why do you guys never show up when I'm looking, you just pop out of nowhere when I'm looking in something, you never, like, I came over here, I look, there's nobody, I come over here, I open a thing, and suddenly I'm being hit, uh, uh, they're in a movie together, anyways, called uh, I think I think those are the pair that's in it. The assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford, uh, I think, is the name of the movie. It, that's a horribly long name for a movie. Um, I I did not like that movie. I don't think I've ever sat through a movie waiting for the main character to die before. Uh, because I wanted the movie to be over, and that movie is so long. Uh, there's also, uh, I guess that's not true, there's The English Patient. <laughs> uh, that was a movie I sat through waiting for uh, the main character to die so we could get done with it. Um, I know that movie isn't as long as it is in my memory, because it feels like it's about nine hours long in my memory. Uh, and uh, oh, people loved that movie. I hated it. It was terrible for me. Once again, though, you love that movie, you go right ahead and you love that movie. It's got nothing to do with me. Just don't ask me to watch that movie. I don't wanna. So I won't. Um, I do, however, want to watch The Pacific. I need to track that down. <laughs> uh, then I, uh, today during work, I've been watching the, uh, the, well, more listening to, occasionally glancing at when I can take my eyes off of my actual work for a second, um, the, uh, third season of Bloodlines, uh, which is a pretty good show on Netflix. Uh, season 3 is the finale. Um, and uh, I had forgotten that I hadn't watched the season 3 and I jumped on there today to look for something to watch. Because um, I'd finished off uh, whatever it is that I was watching before. And uh, what are special infected zombies? What's a feral white? <laughs> S 
Screamer Zombie, I've seen that. Burn Victim, sure. I know what a spider zombie is. Uh, I assume Infected Policeman is just a policeman zombie. What's a Feral White, though? I don't think I know that one. Is it just a Feral Zombie? Is that just a fancy name for a Feral? Although they have more Ferals now, so... Maybe that's just the new name of the Feral Zombie. How did I get in here? I don't know. I, I know how I got in here. I just, uh, I meant... I don't know if that's the name of the new... Or the new name for the Feral Zombie. Okay, that quest totally distracted me. Um, I was gonna tell a story unrelated to movies and shows that I thought was funny. That's the second time that's happened to me today. I saw or thought of something funny and then when I went to relay it, I completely forgot what it was. Oh, don't drive into there. That is a land... landmine... land... F one. Hmm... Land mined minefield. There we go. Minefield. Can't pick these up, right? No. Used to be able to pick them up, right? I'm afraid. Dude, they're landmines, not proximity mines. Come on. Inside. Uh, yeah, what else? Uh... Oh, man, I... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> it's a... Uh... We got a pair of birthdays coming up pretty quick here. And so it's that that time of year when we start getting... Actually, there's a bunch of birthdays coming up all crammed together at once. I think there's um, four... At one, one in December, three in January, and two in... two in November. Uh, and... Uh, I already checked that. And so... Uh, so now is the time of year when we get the... Our family does lists, so it is the time for Christmas and birthday lists. And uh, I do not know what these people are thinking. If you're going to give me a birthday slash Christmas list, and nobody in this family spends more than like, I don't know, 30 bucks maybe on a present because there's so many of us um don't put something that costs $160 on your Christmas list nobody's going to get that for you uh and it's it's even more bizarre because the one family they go to multiple Christmases like I get one I get one and that's it uh, and, uh, which is fine. Um, I've told them repeatedly, let's not have Christmas, and I'll just spend all that money that I've been spending on you, on me. And, uh, but nobody ever seems to want to do that. They just complain. I can't believe how much it's going to cost to get presents this year. I've been hearing this a lot. I can't even afford to order or buy Christmas presents until December. I'd be like, I said... Oh man, you know what? I totally just ordered Christmas some Christmas presents while I was birthday list shopping. Uh, well, fancy you having enough money to order presents. Uh, yeah, like it's this isn't out of nowhere. You knew this was coming. I put money aside specifically for Christmas slash birthday presents. So fancy you. What have you been wasting your money on? Don't it? Oof, something was coming for me. Oof. Oh, there's a horde. Oh, that's kind of fun.
Oh, I think I got too far away. I wanted to watch that. I want to watch that horde go through the landmines. And this guy won't cooperate. I lost my horde. They must be piled up on the outside back there. Doing there, we're dead zombies. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, so anyways, I uh, we're dead zombies and we can't change our direction. Um, so anyways, I ordered I ordered a few. Don't run in there, dude. That's a landmine or a minefield. It's a landmine. It's not a single landmine. Weird. I don't know. They disappeared. Just like everything else. Alright, bike. Let's uh, continue on our way then. See what we can see down through here. Yeah, we got a bar. Um, and uh, so... Well, one of the things I find really weird is... Like, Amazon's got this whole uh, predictive algorithm, right, that try to guesses, it tries to guess what you're going to like for shopping purposes. And I like it when it works. Um, I like it a lot when it works. I don't like it around Christmas time, or right after Christmas time, uh, because, oh, it's a poppin' pills. I thought that was... I don't care about the popping pills. I thought that was a... Oh, wait, right there. I do care about Shaka Messiah. Uh, because you get weird stuff on your... on your Amazon. Here are things we think you'll like. Yeah, you know, I'm just not that into scrunchies. Sorry. Uh, that is one of the things on the Christmas list. Oh, that's what I was talking about was Christmas list. Um, but, uh... Yeah, so I uh, I ordered some Christmas presents, and yesterday yesterday I started getting the emails from Amazon that my orders had shipped, uh, and uh, and one of them comes up and it's got this name I don't recognize, and I'm like, what in the world is this? I'm like, I looked at a lot of things yesterday. Did I accidentally add? stuff to my shopping cart and order things that I didn't actually want, I wouldn't put it past me. Uh, but that's unfortunate. I don't want to buy something I don't want. And uh, so I take a I take a look in there, and um, is that just like the entire rifle? And uh, it's like... This was ordered on, the, on June 7th. And I'm like, I already have Final Fantasy 15. Why are you telling me Final Fantasy... Or Final Fantasy 12, maybe. I forget, it's one of the Final Fantasy games. And, uh... Uh, and so I... I that's not the name that was on the email, though. The, the subject line tells you what's been shipped, right? So I, I've had to log in and open up the history and look through the history. I finally discovered I had ordered a book for my mother for Christmas, who I just ordered a bunch of things for for Christmas. <laughs> so she's getting extra this year. Um, but I ordered it, pre-ordered it, because it came out and they sent me an email saying, we think you might like this author that your mother likes. I don't like the author my mother likes. She likes, uh, she likes, like, uh, murder she wrote kind of mysteries. Not my thing. Uh, and, uh, so, uh, yeah, that was, that was pretty funny. But yeah, uh, back to the list. I'm gonna finish talking about these lists and then we'll probably call it a day here. Uh, so we get these lists, and I'm looking over the list. Now this is for Christmas. Christmas and birthdays. So what kind of things do you want for your birthday or Christmas? You want 
fun things, right? I mean, not everybody wants fun things, but you think there's going to be an entire family who makes lists and nothing on them is fun things, pretty much? Uh, I think there's actually a Lathan's Hardware near where I live. <laughs> um... So I'm looking, I'm looking over the one, the one list, and uh, it's like, cooking pans, spatulas. I'm like, what in the world did you make this list for? Uh... Right, this is... Oh, is that say? I'd have to knock out at least 2,000 to get through there, and this is only 2,500, so let's just go this way. Uh, and I think you probably have to knock out the blocks below that, so it probably work out to be the same thing. Um, so, uh... I'm just looking over these lists, and I'm like, there's not a single... There's not a single book or movie, and these are people who read and watch movies. There's no video games on lists from people who like video games. I'm like, what list did you give me? Your, these are the things we need to pick up the next time we go shopping list? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. You, you seriously want ankle braces for volleyball for Christmas? That's what you want for Christmas. Ankle braces. That is on the list. I'm not making that up. Ankle braces. Uh. Uh. Oh, man. I'm bleeding. Oh man, I totally did not use my thing like I told him to either. You're gonna get me killed here, guy. Okay. It's close. Um. O plus. O. O plus? O positive? O positive? I don't remember what blood type it was. I think it was O something. Um, A something? I don't know. Uh, blood type patch. Anyways. Uh, that's it. A patch. A patch that you put on things that tells them what your blood type is. That's what you want for Christmas. For Christmas, right? Christmas. Your birthday. You want a, a patch that tells people what your blood type is. What? <laughs> Socket set. That is one of the that's one of the things on the list. Socket set. I I want to go and get the tiniest socket set I can find. I don't mean like the least amount of pieces. I mean like the smallest sizes, the smallest sizes, and get that for them. Uh, I would go with the biggest sizes, but those are really expensive. Uh, what is that even supposed to mean? Boots. One of the lists has got the word boots on it. No sizes, no style, no brand, no type, just the word boots. Ah, oh, tool and die set. I needed that. I can make. Well, as soon as I learn to make steel, I can make. Wait, I can make steel. I can't make steel. All right. Uh, steel, steel, steel. Steel, right here. I cannot make it yet. I need tool smithing up to six.
My toolsmithing is not ready to go to 6 because I need to be level 40. What level am I? I don't know what level I am. So I guess I didn't need that as bad as I thought I did, but it was something I was out here looking for. Um, and I got two of them. Awesome. So, uh, uh, yeah, I just... <sighs> you know what I put on my list is fun things that I want that I'm not quite willing to just go out and buy. I, I feel that's what lists, birthday lists and Christmas lists are for. Hey, that looked interesting, but I'm not sure I'm willing to pay the ten bucks for it. I'll get somebody else to pay the ten bucks for it. Uh, and then that way if I like it, great. If I don't like it, it was a gift. Uh... <sighs> But shin pads. Same person that wants ankle braces has shin pads on their list. Uh, one person had an Amazon link to a comforter set. Not anything special, just a plain old comforter set. Same person, pillowcase. Like, are you homeless? Is this your... Are you moving? I... Did your house burn down and no one told me? I... Measuring cups. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. Aren't those, like, 250 at Walmart? You can't afford 250 at Walmart? Put some fun things on your list, people. And, and don't make it ridiculous things on your list. Bow strings for my bow. Okay, you do know those come in sizes and types, right? Uh, I don't know what kind of bow you have. Um, just saying, you might want to put a little more information in there. So I know what the heck you're talking about. Oh, you know what? I was going to go through the... Uh, the roof back in that other store so I could drop down and not have to bash my way through and then I forgot. Uh, but yeah. Seems like every year they... they not every year, I guess, but... They just... The worst list? I just... I, I finally... I finally just sent a text... And I'm like, so, what are they like? <laughs> what do you mean? Didn't you get the list? Yeah, but I'm not buying someone ankle braces for Christmas. Like, if there was, like, for some reason, a sports person who they really liked, who had special ankle braces that they really wanted. I could understand that. That's not what's on the list, though. It's just ankle braces. Uh, in fact, it's almost an entire set of gear for volleyball uh, is what it winds up being. And I'm like... The... They're not going to be playing volleyball at home. So, wouldn't you rather have some cool stuff at home? I... I don't know. Anyways, uh... I wound up finding out that the person, uh, for their birthday, uh... That the person wanted, or didn't want, the person likes a certain type of book and so I bought them books in that genre uh, that I also have enjoyed uh, to see if they might like more of those in the future. Uh, but yeah, it's just, it's just bizarre. Alright, with that, go on buy everybody a tiny little socket set. Because uh, that's what they want for Christmas. Uh, click leave your like, subscribe, share, and catch the next one. I'll talk to you later.